honored to be doing this interview. Oh, thank you're so you. sweet. Oh, thank you. Of course. So huge congrats on this show. So much fun, and I really enjoyed it. And to start off, I want to ask about your individual characters. Was there something that you personally found yourself relating to about them, or maybe a storyline or a quality that you're most excited for the fans to resonate and experience with them? Yeah. Do you want to go first? No, you go first. I, I, I truly connect to the fact that he's a, you know, a parent. I'm a parent myself of a five-year-old. It's a little different than being a parent of a teenager, I can imagine. Uh, you know, Sarah is a, a parent of a teenager. Um, and also the, uh, the whole relationship that Garrett has with nature. You know, he's, he's a park ranger. He's a, he's a guardian of the forest. And I'm myself, I'm very, very... Uh, connected to to nature uh, have always been so that spoke on a personal level uh, for me I think for me it's a trickier answer because I can't really tell you because then I would be giving away secrets okay and what's interesting when you first meet her her motivation is extremely very driven and very linear it is to find out who started the fire yeah. but that's not really why she's there you'll have to wait and find out Listen, we love a good tease, Sarah. We love a good teaser. It's fine. We're watching. Okay, I mean, I, I can I can throw the teaser out there. Yeah. Got it. And one other thing I really love about TV shows is the different dynamics, the friendships, the relationships that you guys get to explore and portray. Is there one that you're most looking forward to sharing with the world or that was most fun to play with as an actor? I think all... it. it it, that's like picking your favorite child, right? It's that yeah. the interactions that we each have with all the different characters and so many different levels. And, and every time you work with someone, it's a different environment on set, on camera and off camera, because mm -hmm. people bring different emotions. Some actors would surprise you in a scene. I I would say for this show, uh, from what I know, you know, the, the in like genre shows, you have the adults and the, the younger uh, you yeah. know, characters. This show has a very interesting dynamic between the adult characters and the younger characters. Let's put it like this. You, you, you figure it out as you start watching it. You see how they relate to each other. And it's very different than, you know, usually we, we, we watch in shows, uh, you know, genre shows. That's yeah. fair. I also have to ask you about the genre. I mean, Supernatural is such a fun thing to watch, and I imagine it's so much fun on set to do. What do you love about it as a fan? You know, what makes you want to do it as an actor, that sort of stuff? Well, I think what we realized, and we were just discussing this today, is that the superhuman allows you to tell the most human stories. That yeah. these stories were created, these these legends of that go back to the beginning of time, were created because they were answering questions that we didn't have the answers to. The things that go bump in the night, the things that scare us. And it allows you to open your mind and create its own universe, which is not something you can do in every genre. Yeah, film. I think it's it's a big metaphor for, you know, the monsters that we all face. The monsters are all, you know, in here. Uh, and we all have to face it, and you can't let them win, And but they're very scary. So uh, as a metaphor, uh, I think it's, it's perfect um, to discuss, you know, human... Um, the human condition and how much we have been like anxiety it's a big theme in in our show i mean of course it's human we all know we all are anxious by nature but it, since you know the past years and especially after pandemic it, it it raised in a level like you talk to therapists and psychologists and they're just they're burned out because they can't they've been helping so much people and it's been you know, raising, raising. So one of the things that I, I hope a Wolfpack can do is to normalize those conversations, especially if, if you know, with the, uh, with the young, uh, not only teenagers, but like the younger uh, audience that, you know, they need, to, uh, conversations need to be had uh, in order to normalize that. So well said. Thank you both so much again for your time. I appreciate it. Sarah, just want to give a quick shout out and say, loved you and do revenge. Killed it. <laughs> Thank and you. I can't wait for everyone else to see you guys in this project. It's great. Thank you. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Bye. It's so nice to speak with both of you. Thank you so much for your time today and congrats on the series. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. Thank you so much. You as well. Of course. No, so I want to start off by saying how much I love it, but I want to talk about your individual characters. Was there anything that you found yourself personally resonating with, or is there something you're most excited for the audience to notice about your character and relate to? I think we've said this before, uh, 
the most exciting part for the audience for us is that they might get something out of it and be able to see that they're not alone in like a lot of ways. Um, I mean, we can talk about mental health, we can talk about um, dynamics between friends and family that might not be so strong or might not be so healthy. Um, but in the end, we all find our way and we all figure it out, which is yeah. personally how I felt with these guys and, you know, finding my best friends through this process and also just being able to act like I, that's all I've ever wanted to do. And Jeff gave all of us the opportunity to really embody characters that might mean something to people. And I think that's all that really <laughs> matters. Yeah. I think, uh, I think everyone is constantly discovering new things about themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, until you really are confident and find who you are as a person, it's, it's a journey. That's mm -hmm. the point of life. You're supposed to go through different experiences and take away lessons that are supposed to improve you as a person. And I really, I really do relate to a lot of things that not only my character, um, the traits that he possesses but just you know things in the show as well I there's been points in my life where I've felt lost and hopeless and scared and I know for a fact that everyone deals with that um, and you see it every way people dealing it with it through different ways whether it's unfortunately with hate or whether it's with you know sadness or you know grief um, I think everyone's just you know they're, they're trying to live, they're trying to enjoy life. And I love that the show really does show the groundedness of relationships between people. And I feel like it's gonna be very relatable for a lot of people out there. I think it also I mean, starts with each character being in a different place um, mentally, but they're all sort of in the same place in that, in my opinion, none of them are truly happy in their own right. Um, and I think that's a great place to start because that's a great place to start the conversation, to start the thoughts, and to start the talking about how we feel as people in everyday life. So, I, yeah. I love that. You both perfectly phrased it. And before I let you go, I just want to ask if you could tease your favorite dynamic, whether it's a relationship or a friendship, that you're excited to share with the world. Um, I'll just say Bluna is... Love it. I love we we love Luna. We're in support of Luna. And I was gonna say Harlan and Everett. People, <laughs> people are in for a treat with that. We just love each other too much for yeah, you to ask that question. Like so we're friends. just like, it's oh, like, like Bella or Bonnie. Um, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both so much for your time. Congrats again, and I hope to just be with you both again. Soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. It means Hi, a lot. Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi, Armani. How Hi. are you both today? We're good. good. I love your glasses. Oh my gosh, thank you. I love the outfits, guys. <laughs> and thanks, Fred. Fred. There we go. <laughs> thank you. Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. Huge fan of both of you. And this series is just fantastic. So congrats on everything. Thank you. Thanks. Of course. So to start off, I always love talking about the individual characters. And I want to ask both of you, is there something that you found yourself personally relating to while you were portraying the character or something, whether it's a characteristic, a quality, a storyline that you're sort of most excited for fans to experience with your character? Yeah, a lot. I think that's also part of the reason why we felt so connected to these characters is mm -hmm. because we are very similar to them. And it's really cool when you get like an audition for something that you're like, oh, I don't really have to play a character this time. I can kind of just play it as myself. And they might not even be able to tell if you're playing a character because they don't know you yet. <laughs> right. and it just feels natural. So I immediately connected with Everett and I was like, I don't want to lose this role because this feels like the one for me. Yeah, and I felt the same way about Blake. I mean, sh we have a lot of similarities, but we also have a lot of differences that I really like to dive into. And I think... The dynamic between everyone in the pack is really important and really, really interesting. What makes you a fan of the genre, either acting-wise, getting to do it, or just sitting back and watching it? The beauty of both, both, I feel like. Yeah, and just how much you can do with the supernatural world. Like, there's there's a lot more exploration, and there's a lot of yeah. things that might not exist in the real world that you can fit into a story like that. And just being able to watch it, too, because when we watch it back, it's, like, hard for us still to see it as like ourselves like mm -hmm. I still feel like I'm watching another show yeah. and it's weird because I like to when I watch something I'm in I like to try and watch it from like an outside perspective and be like okay, if I wasn't in this would I like this and 
I really like am already invested in the show, like regardless of being in it. So yeah, and cool. I think the fun of being an actor on a supernatural project is you're not writing the storyline. So you don't know what's gonna come your way as an actor. You don't know what you're mm -hmm. gonna be thrown with. So it's it's like it's fun as an actor. Is there a dynamic, whether it's a friendship or a relationship, that you are sort of most excited to share with the world? Ooh, Ooh all of them. It's, it gets really juicy throughout the season. It gets super season. juicy, yeah. It starts slower and it gets really fast. Like, yeah. the beginning is only, like, the tip of the iceberg. And there's lots of ups and downs and... Bla I think Blake and Everett's relationship is a really special one. Yeah, and, yeah. And they, they play it out really well and the payoff is there. Yeah. Lastly, message to fans. You know, everyone's been so excited about the series. What is it like seeing that? It Crazy. means a lot. It means a lot, too, to have uh, the fan base of, of Team Wolf uh, so supportive of us. Because yeah. usually you have to, like, find your fan base when a show comes out. We already kind of have, like, half of it built in. So mm -hmm. it's really nice to see that they're excited and that they like what they've seen so far. It's really special. Congrats to both of you again. Thank you for your time and just enjoy it. I, I got to see you guys at New York Comic Con, and you were all wonderful. I <laughs> love yeah, you. Yeah, thank you so much. Of course, talk again soon. Thank you. Boys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you. Talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The